Hello everyone. Welcome to Career Deep. In today's session, we are going to discuss two puzzles that were asked in Infosys last year. So in Infosys, number puzzles are highly common and solving problems related to number puzzle is like eating a piece of cake. So if you know the relationship between numbers or if you know the topic alphanumerical series, solving problem related to number puzzles is very, very easy. So here we have two such questions. So question number one. So here you could see three flowers and you have some numbers and letters in between that, right? Okay, now there is some relationship between these numbers. So you have four leaves in each flower. So if you take the first figure, you have four leaves having the numbers eight, five, four, six, and in between that you have the number 37. So usually for this kind of questions, there is some sort of relationship between the numbers in outer leaves uh, that means you have to do some simplification process for the outer leaves and that will fix the answer in middle. So if I am at your place, what I used to do, I will start with adding the numbers. So 8 plus 5 is 12, 12 plus 4 is 16, 16 plus 6 is 22, so which is not equivalent to 37. So I will start, I will start with this uh, basic uh, addition, right? So actually 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 4 is 17, 17 plus 6 is 23 actually, right? So 23 is not equivalent to 37. So I will start adding the numbers. If it is not working, then I will go with multiplication. So here, 8 into 5, 40. Okay, 6 into 4, 24. Now I will try to look the difference between 8 into 5, 40 and 6 into 4, 24. Now I will try to find the difference. This is also not working. Similarly, I will try to find the relationship between numbers. So I will try to uh, multiply 8 into 6, then 5 into 4, then difference. So which is not working. So this question is little different. Okay, so here, this is based on square. So what is eight square? You get 64. And five square is 25. Now, if you add these two numbers, you get 89. Now, six square is 36. And four square is 16. So if you add it, you get 52. Now look at the difference between 89 and 52. So what is difference between 89 and 52? You get 37. This becomes your answer. It's very simple, right? So this was a different kind of question that was asked in Infosys. Now, coming to second flower, you have 12. So 12 square is 144. And 10 square is 100. Now, when I sum it, I get 244. Now, 9 square is 81. And 11 square is 121. If I add it, I get Yes, 202. Now, what is the difference between 244 and 202? I get 42, right? Okay. Now, similarly, you have to solve for third flower also. So, 5 square is 25. 1 square is 1. If I add these two numbers, I get 26. And 4 square is 16. And 2 square is 4. So, if I add these two numbers, then I get 20. Now, I have to look the difference between 26 and 20. I get 6. So answer for this question mark is 6. Now you have one more question mark also. But unfortunately, we have uh, the letter starting with A. It is very, very easy now. You feel more comfortable, right? Now I write the uh, alphabetical series. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay. Now you have first letter A. Then they skipped B and you have C. Then they skipped D and you have E. Then they skip F, you have G. Then they skip H, you have I. Okay, and the letters were written in anti-clockwise direction. So you have to follow the same structure till the end. So after I, you get J, I mean I, J. Then you have K. After K, you have L, leave it, M. After M, it is M, leave it, O. After O, it is P, leave it. Then you have Q. After Q, it is R, leave it. Then it is S. After is leave it P, you have Q. So in this way, the structure continues. So answer for this question is yes, comma six. So it is really, really easy question, right? So if you see this kind of question in process, you can answer it easily, right? So you have to look row wise and column wise also. Sometimes they will ask in diagonal. For example, eight square is 64 and four square is 16. So there might, be, there might be some possibility of asking question like this also. Okay, so you have to be more cautious in looking the relationship between the numbers. So if you are good at number series, then attending this kind of question is very, very easy. Now, question number two. 
Okay. So in Infos is last year they have asked two questions similar to this. So you have some rows, numbers in rows and numbers in columns, right? So out of four puzzles, you can expect. So uh, at least you can expect this kind of question one, right? So from one to two question, you can uh, uh, expect from this type. Okay, now uh, what is the relationship between numbers in row? So 81, 18, 62, and 26. So usually I will start counting in row, then I will come for column. So if I try to establish the relationship between numbers, so I will try to start adding it. For example, I will add uh, 18 and 81 right then i try to subtract it from 26 so if i do that 81 plus 90 18 i get 99 then i will add it with 26 okay then i will subtract it 26 then i will try to check whether i'm getting 62 or not it is not working so i get 73 so 62 is not coming then i will try to swap uh, the numbers then i will try to add uh, 18 plus 62 then 26 then i will check whether i am getting 81 or not so 18 plus 62 plus 26 so i get uh, what is it 10 one not six so it is not working then i will go for column right so i will look in column wise okay so 81 plus 39 so what is 81 plus 39 we get 120 now you have 15 in next third uh, the third number is 15 now, if you subtract it, you get 105. Yes, this is working. But however, you have to check in the, uh, you have to uh, check the second uh, column also. So what is 18 plus 93? So 18 plus 93, we get 111. Now subtract 51 from this 111. Yes, we get 60. So the same, I mean, the same structure will continue for the third column also. So it is 62 plus 63 we get 125. Now subtract 45 from it. You get 80. So answer for this question mark is 80. And this kind of questions are highly common in Infosys. And I will come up with some other different problems in upcoming session. And please download the application CDTS from Play Store that I have included some more problems related to your campus interview, which will be very, very helpful for you. So share the video to your friends and Ask your friends to download and subscribe our application. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. All the very best.